letting me type anything? Uh, it you're typing, but it won't show you anything. Oh, lovely! <laughs> so if you get it wrong, just press enter and try again. <laughs> which you'd uh -huh. like to try again. So the option is to literally restart everything. <laughs> yep. So just straight away ask for the password again. Cool. <laughs> Do you think robots will need oh, passwords? Well, I in the think future? we're I think we're in. We are in. Now I'd like you to type when I get this list of commands back up. Uh, where did I put it? Uh, I'll move that oh no, I'll keep that up so you can see it in the background. It should be Ellis should list our file. LS, sorry, um, should list our file structure. Sorry, what was that? I had a thing going off in the... I'm oh, sorry, LS? Yep. yep. And just press enter. So we have... We have an open scan folder, good. Let me just make sure I get the right command so we don't end up deleting ourselves. Uh, how do we switch folder? We switch folder with... Okay, you're showing me for like 500 ls commands. Get to the next one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's... Um... You know what? I can't get it up because I don't have pi. Just type in uh, help. This may throw a big list of words at us. Oh, God. Uh, can you make the window a bit bigger? Yeah, I most definitely can. Uh, okay, yeah, it's CD for change directory. So CD slash open scan or space open scan slash. It's prob Ooh. probably tell us how we've got it wrong in a moment. Yeah, there's no. Yeah, so CD space open scan with no slash. Try that one. Yeah. Oh, who's messaging me now? Oh, uh, also, I better make sure that I use the correct capital, perhaps capital? as well. Oh, yes, yeah, sometimes that can actually help. Oh, I should have used the tab key. That would have done it automatically. Um, we are in there. So now we need to ls again to see what we've got. I'm pretty sure we're after a settings folder, so that's where we'll be heading next. But... Yep, so CD settings. You're a, you're a Linux hacker already. <laughs> He's already done the command. So, wait, so what's the setting that we're trying to change again? Uh, Limit maybe. photos. You see huh? it? Uh, one, two, three, four. Fifth column in. Something limit photos. I can barely read it from here, but... I see limit photos. So we want to go, now this is going to be the tricky command. Um, is that the setting we want though? Because these are all settings that show up in... Um, well, what's the setting called with the one we want to take photos? Um, if you go back to your browser and just have a poke. I, I think we, we might have actually wanted scans now that I think about it. No, scans will just, uh, the scans folder just has previous scan files in it. Uh, it files in cloud, which would, I think is the temp folder. Because if I look at how that's all written there and then the files, which it is the, is the files. If, I you would... go into, if you go out of here and go into scans, you'll end up just getting um, a list of images or possibly um, zipped folders. Should I? I'm going to try it anyway, I think. Okay, you'll need to type CD to go back. I think. I took you right the way to the beginning, sorry about that. Um, no, that that's fine. I can go from here. You I can press the up arrow to use commands you've used before, so if you scroll back around to the one you're looking for. Um, no, not Okay, apparently that doesn't want to work that way. Um... 
All right, they've changed it. Well, they haven't changed it. It just doesn't. Not All right, aware so of it. the I want to CD. You could go open scan slash the file you're, folder you're looking for. That should work. Should work. <laughs> so it used should. to work. Now LS. Yeah, it's zip files with all your photos in it. Yeah, the, oh. is there one called Bit? Like, I'm now kind of like having a quick skim because one of these should be different if it, if it is. Yeah, these are all. Yeah. yeah they're all default named. Yep. Yeah, um doesn't mean the one you're asking about isn't in there. It might just be that the name's too long for it to show. <laughs> CD. What was the set it like? When you finished going, where you're going? Um, God. No, no. So it's got all the pins. It's like it's all... Separated out into its own individual settings. Updatable upload progress. Uh, yeah. Try going into files for a second. Sure. Literally just a fucking logo. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Oh, and okay. a Python script. Um, mm. All right. The question is, what's wrong with Python? Not necessarily anything wrong with Python. And how would you know? So what, unless it's in updates, which I doubt, it will be possibly in that. The only I mean, go back to the web page and let's have a look. See uh, what have we got. This is Open Scan Cloud. Yep, yep. So that's the max number of photos is a thousand, right? So yeah, or, or two gigs. So go go back to the scan page or where you take the scan. Um so what's that one? That one's just called photos. Okay. Alright, I mean we can go in and out of files. It's not like we can't. Um I'm, I'm still I'm still thinking limit photos was probably Oh the wait, one hang on. What have you found? Camera crop, um, X, y, X and Y, y which is a hundred percent. It could also be under the file named Advanced Settings, too. Like actually inside that file. Yeah, I'm can't stack size. Stack size. That's booms tokens. So. Date. Okay, so if you wanted to open one of these fold files up, here's the complicated bit. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm checking it because that's it's between photos and ring light. There you go. <laughs> yeah, no, that's where it has gotten funny, hasn't it? Uh, because that it is just randomly chucked in between. So what, see, let's see, camera stack, gain. I mean, don't expect this to be in the same format that the things, it's just listing it in alphabetical. Yeah, no. Well, uh, timeout I ring light. We've got timeout ring light over here. Yeah. Um, How are you doing, right. Alpha Brain? Um, uh, struggling at the moment because I'm still trying to get this. Uh, absolutely as accurate as I can, and it's absolutely doing my fucking head in. 
He's still making his train, isn't he? Yeah, I'm still making the uh, outer part of the bogey, which is fun. Yep. Oh, like the, the middle frame itself? Yeah, that's the hard part. Yeah. Thank God I know what control R is. <laughs> so essentially, do you want a frame on top of your frame? Yes, I would, thank you. Would be one of those. Yeah. Don't <laughs> think text. Hmm? It's little guys one called config text. Yeah, you can try that one. So do you want to try opening it? Yes. Uh to be on the safe side, let's just go nano. Type in so, nano? Yep. And then type in space config.text. I think that's how we do it. I can't, I'm not 100% sure I remember on how to open it. The reason I'm not telling you to do sudo nano is because I don't want to have admin privileges in here just yet. It means we won't be able to save the file. We just want to have a quick look. HDMI blanking. That's always the this annoying is, part. With This is more bullshit. Raspberry Pi config. Files by the looks of it set DVI. Yeah. All right, I guess I'll just hit N. So... So, so exit's a bit bit hard. Uh, control X, I believe, is the command to exit. Okay, so that one was not it. Uh, maybe it's the Python script for OpenSCAD? It could be. It could also be the settings.js. Yeah, I'll go OpenSCAD.py and then settings.js. Just... It's as long as I own, so as long as I only use nano and basically only and don't actually touch anything and just read. Well, the reason I got you to open that in nano, like just nano without sudo in front of it, it gave you no ability to edit the file. Oh, well, that's exactly what I want right now. I don't really care about editing just yet. Yeah, you could save it as another file, but you wouldn't be able to change that one. Um, yeah, so just yeah, you're gonna try the open scan.py. First, yeah, it just seems yeah, sure. because it I... may not work. It might not let you. You might have to get these files onto the computer and edit them there. But that's hey, it actually oh, worked. It actually did. So basically, we're looking for something that says three hundred because you've got it set to three hundred right now. Uh huh. Oh, hmm. I think so. That's what it was last time I saw it. But yeah, I'll bring. Hey. I'll go back over to it. Yep. It's talking about cloud, so it's it's actually got like the link to the actual cloud server. It's got the username and the password for the cloud server. That's a bad idea to have that oh, in such God. an open file. Um, in other words, well, I could take that and manually log into it now. Um, God, <laughs> that might be something I might need to message the guy and say, "Hey, I was I, I was I messing around with the." Stop to do with that. Anyway, yep. Keep your look around. Isn't it? Does well. We'll go, oh, can you scroll up and down in it? I pretty much get to that, and then yeah. Go. Oh, that's how it's running, Nano. Okay. So see how it says it's unwritable down the bottom. Oh, yep. Yep, means we can't change anything. Um. So yeah, that's that's more settings for the. Well, yeah. actually, that's more big code for it to operate. Uh, oh, we're in updates right now, aren't we? Yeah. Nano. Try the yeah. settings one? Yeah, I was about to try settings next. You're a hacker, Harry. Beep, 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 beep. Or you, it's like the Harry Potter theme, except it's with, um... Fuck, what is Hello. it? The, um... Uh, like this floppy disk drive machines. Okay, so why isn't that scroll? Hang on, there'll, there'll be a command down the bottom to page up and down. Um, oh, yeah. I'm just pressing page up and page down. Okay, that works too. Now use a node red. 
How in the fuck am I gonna do this? Question. Ah, yeah? Control W. Control? Should open up the finding info. It's like find. It's called where is. We might be able to just type in. Search. 300? <laughs> Not found. Okay. Anyway, I still have a look around in here because it might actually be written in a different way. <laughs> so, what does it say? Flow file, user generous directory. Still reckon it's probably in the settings folder. I, I, I'm starting to agree with you. Root false manual. Because all of this just settings. This is more of like the connection settings. Yeah. About nodes and paths. I'm going to go into back into settings. Like, because these all just seem like the core stuff. Yeah. And there was a loud slapping sound a minute ago. That was kind of. That um, was not me. If what are they doing back out. there? <laughs> Cough. Anyway. <laughs> Slash settings. Ah. Oh. What's everyone's day's day consisted of? Um, a party that wasn't that good, and... Uh, what else? I don't know what else. I'm tired. So, what would be... I, I don't want to go straight into advanced settings, just yet. I'm still stuck on this thing that says limit photos. And limit file size. I'm wondering if that's that main limit showing you the, that, that, the max you can do. That no, that's the um. I believe that's uh, over in this one. Yeah. Here, because OSC one thousand. But I'll, I'll open. No, I'll go. No, I'll go. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll, I'll open because you could be could because it, it could have a diff, another folder in it too. Um, the only other ones that could be in. And just looking at this, is either advanced or possibly camera. But, yeah, I'm not seeing anything here that says how many photos can I take other than that one. Yeah. Angle Max Accelerator. I mean, this may just have 1,000 written in it. That's all that might be in this file. It's 1,000. So, yeah, that's yeah. how they've written their settings. Okay, so I would say go into advanced settings and have a poke, but... Yeah, well... None of those that, other settings look like they've got the thing we were asking for. No. Which is not. unusual. <laughs> oh. Hello, who's this? Morning. Oh, no. Hello, Huckle. How are I'm we? <laughs> I was wondering how you were. Uh, Not too bad, to be honest, though I'm broke. <laughs> oh, dear. What happened? Let's see if it auto feels. On the bright side, I got a part-time, well, like a really, really low-pay part-time job at a friend's place. Oh, well, that's, Hello. that's all right, then. I mean, so, uh, it's like that ramen place that I used to go that, around. Kind of, that can't, I should have expected that. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, then. Oh, uh, Owen. Yes. Hang on. Routine photo count. I mean... Oh, yeah, that, that would be it, actually. So basically, there's ramen place in the city that I used to, usually go for lunch. The ah, okay. open for three hours only place that in that's in Randall Mall. Yes, yes, I know the one you're talking about. Yeah, I'm just part timing there. That's the pay fine. is not much. The pay that's is absolutely... really, really not much. Yeah, well, that's to be expected. But no, that's absolutely fine. At least you've gotten yourself something. Like thirty bucks a day. That's fine. That's better than nothing. I'm gonna try something. I no, I mean, uh, before you can no, edit no, no, no. The thing is, uh, he asked if I want to do it. So we found difference. what we're looking for uh, in a I hope, way. I hope so. I'll put it this way. He asked me He asked me if I could do it. So, so I mean, pseudo nano. So it's not. U D O? Yep. N A N O. Space nano. Only um, one yeah. person tell me what to do right now because if I stuff up that's a, and it blows it's up, that's basically $1,000 worth of. Junk it's that I'm not. gonna have. Huckle, help it's this not. poor man. 
Anyway, um... Space Nano. Well. Space Nano, and then... Alright, okay, so that's like that. God, this is so fucking hard, I hate it. I hate it so much. Did I just hit, uh, put in... 500. Well, half your number, just see if that... Can... No, that's a bit too much. <laughs> oh, God. That one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, down the bottom to say it is... I don't remember. Uh, Control S, no. <laughs> Control S. You, you'd you'd hope so. <laughs> um, I guess... It's been a while since I've I guess, used it. Uh, so. I guess, uh, whatever, up and... Oh, wait. T control, is? control X. Exit, and it should go. Are you sure you want to exit? Save your modifier. Yes. Do I just control yep. X again? Um, yeah. Uh, wait. What's the commands down the bottom? Just press enter, uh, that should do it. Now I'm yeah. going to just check something. That I hasn't changed. The, I think the slider maxes at 300, so don't touch it or else you'll change the setting again. Try and take a scan and see how many photos you get. Oh, come on. Prepar please. Routine preparing. <laughs> That's the most evil laugh I've ever heard. That's my evil laugh when something like that goes possibly the way we want it to. That is almost exactly what I want done. Basically, if this does... We'll find it in 500 photo time. <laughs> it, however, it doesn't tell us how long it will take any longer because of that. Well, yeah, because it's yeah, taking with it. Oh, there it is. Whoa. <laughs> What's 4,000 seconds? Is that longer than normal? That is definitely longer than normal, so... Are you learning uh, Python? No, I'm legitimately adjusting. Uh, 4,000 seconds is 66 minutes. I know that you're adjusting something on Linux, but what is it yeah. for? Okay, so I have a 3D scanner, which is basically a thing that takes lots and lots of repeated pictures. I will double check one it's thing. It's while... running on a Raspberry Pi. Ah, so you're just trying to tweak the settings on the skin? Yeah, because yeah. the slider doesn't let me go over 300. Ah. The right. max file size that I can send to the cloud server, basically, is 1,000. More or less, I... I really can't, Owen. Yeah. Linux is not out of my league. Oh. More or less, um, I... Basically, I need, I want to send more pictures at once of more angles to try and increase the overall fidelity of. I have a question. Mm hmm. Can you adjust the angle at which it starts taking photos so it'll be at a slightly off angle? I can. Are the files numbered like 1 to 300? Normally, yeah. I was going to say, because if they weren't, you could just copy and paste a second scan at a different angle into the same folder. Um, like into the same zip file and send it off. Because <laughs> I know that this is going to run. I can just, I legitimately, I can just go over to files and cloud. Let's just grab this one. I forget what that is and hit download. Mm -hmm. I can can you re-upload a file to there? No, that's actually something that they haven't implemented yet but if so I... you know that folder that says files i bet you yeah. can get it in there yeah <laughs> oh yeah 
Now if I extract that. Hmm. Oh, yep. Have fun. We'd have to amend the file names. Uh, that's the fun part. I know. Yep. <laughs> that reminds okay. me of something. I have to start again. Oh, uh -oh. no. Oh, dear. Basically, I had it ever so slightly too high. Uh -oh. it, came off, it came off the track. Oh, no. <laughs> wah, wah, oh, no. Wah. Oh, my um, Star Trek doorbell is coming along very well. All right, let's... Uh... You don't need to work out how the buttons will work. There, that should be a better angle. Basically, because I had was fidgeting with it in... One percent. It basically. Now let's see if it's actually is remembered that I want five hundred pictures. As long as you don't touch that slider, it should remember. Should. It may have rebooted it the did. things. Reset it. Yep. Yeah, well, in that case, but I now know how to find it. You know how to get there now, and you know which file it is. <laughs> yeah. The one that's named that, you know. <laughs> Yeah, no, like the the one that's actually named routine photos because it's the routine photo number, and yeah, so fingers crossed. Uh, we'll when you it. open the zip up for this one, it's got five hundred five hundred in it. Oh God, hang on, sir. Um, that would just... take eight thousand seconds if you did a full thousand of them. Something like that, I'm guessing. I don't mind a long scan time if it means I'm going to get more fidelity. Well, yeah. See, that's, that's the thing. That's a fair point entirely. See, I'm legitimately doing a test because I've got a 300. I'm going to then do a send this particular one in and then wait for the scan to come back. Hopefully it comes back and it works. It should do, considering only setting I've actually changed <laughs> is the number of photos it's taking in a row. Mm. See, that that's legitimately the only thing I... I... See, he goes... See, he comments on... on this section here. Um, you should only have 60 to 120. And if it fails, it was, it was going to fail anyway. And well, that, that's fine. I understand that. However, I want more fidelity. I know that most of my scans are working. Like almost every scan I've done has worked. Mm, brilliantly. There have been issues here and there because I've made things that I've put things on that have looked a certain way. And, and you basically, didn't like them, so you got rid of it. No, it was because they were on the camera because of the uh, fact that I've put something on that was <laughs> square. It then kind of had something on the back, and he kind of thought that that was actually part of the front thing. However, in saying that, I... Um have only had a couple ones actually come back and say that the scan itself has failed. Mm. Where it, which means that it failed as in it wasn't able to put two and two together and make a hole. Well, that's always a problem. Hmm. Sorry. But, um, 
if you have if you do come have a quick look at my screen because I believe I'm still sharing it. Yeah. Uh... This is a 3D model of the 300 pictures. I mean, for me, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's 90% of the way there. I just want to see if I can get any better. I said you want to push it a bit further, do you? Pardon? I said you want to push it a bit further, do you? I basically want to see what... I basically wanted to see what her higher number will do. Ah. Uh, Yeah. I basically want to see if I can sort of scan and then straight away print it out with minor editing. See, because um, certain parts, that's supposed to be flat. Um, that what their the... ring section is supposed to be a divot and whatnot as well. The only other option I have is a LiDAR system on top of it. Which isn't impossible to do. It would actually be fairly easy to put a lighter under this kind of thing. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Have you tried projecting your Kinect laser at it? So not scanning with the Kinect, but just using its passive projection of its lasers at that while you're scanning. No, because I don't know how to do that. But now that you've mentioned it, I'm kind of tempted to. Except for the fact that like you need to turn it on. Except for the fact I don't know how I'm going to get it inside the globe that it's in. You've actually got that right inside the globe now. Yeah. Like full. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it's basically completely surrounded by the 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 actual part itself is completely surrounded, more or less. I might have to get your assistance with your connect. That's You've mentioned. Line. You've mentioned. I wonder if it'll work with that 3D scan. Is this booting into Windows 10 now? Yes. <laughs> like there is there is a software on the Microsoft Store called 3D Scan that uses the connector scan things. Huh. Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh yeah, because it's essentially a high resolution um, scanning device. No, I didn't think of that. All I can suggest is if you can get a um, bit of a track for it to run on in a curve it would no be better, yeah no problem and you basically well, can put that onto a, a uh, what, if, what if the boot. camera the scanner is stationary and the person's rotating 3d modeling it's well no we, we've done this before i've seen it done before okay um, no when what i'm suggesting is basically you have the person in a chair spin around and then you have a uh, circle. Basically do exactly what I've got done, what I've got, but on a bigger scale with the, and using the Kinect. Mm. I don't know about like lifting it above people. That might scare the shit out of them. But yeah. Right. No, no. You, we See, if you put it onto a... I mean, you don't need to go that high above them. You only need to come down at a slight angle and you'd get all the data you need. See... Basically, if you, yeah, see, that's why I'm saying if you put it onto a gimbal bait, uh, onto a um, track, basically. I mean, it's probably going to be hard to do that, but yeah, we can try. Um... So can I get a bit more information then so I can help figure this out? Well, I mean, like we wouldn't have enough room to set up a track at the men's shed. Um... <laughs> When I well, when I say track, it's basically a thing going around the body, and and mostly in a gentle curve. If that you, you need to scan from a meter back. I mean, we are just doing a bust, so maybe we can come in a bit closer. Um, yeah, you can come in about fifty centimeters for a head. I think it is a bit more than the with head. With that, that, you'll want you know. But, yeah, yeah, but, um, uh, no, I'm, I get that, but basically, it's more so that you can do it in more uh, st bit stable. I mean, points. you can look at it. This software, you can do it by hand, and it still gets pretty good results. Oh yeah, so, no. <laughs> See, I'm over overdoing it. 
pretty much. Yeah, you, you want you know what you want each hair to be perfect, and, which is hey, fair look, enough. he doesn't want which to be is an fine. Amateur. Yeah. So, can I ask who the scan is for? Okay, so, uh, you know, we're talking about printers and stuff at the men's shed. And Ivan Venning, who used to be an MP, um, said, you know, could you scan a person? And I think he wants to make a concrete statue for his gravestone. Well, see... Which we could scan him and then 3D print molds and then just clean it up once it's, you know... Yeah, well, the, 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 you, heck, depends on what he wants. Because if he just wants a bus, that's easy enough done. Technically, if he, if you stand there and you go straight up and straight down, except over the top, you can do a little over the top info as well. Mm-hmm. And he stands oh. on, a bo- on a board, basically. And has his arms slightly spread, and we just spin him around. We could probably stand him on a Lazy Susan. (laughs) Uh, Pretty much. Stand him on a Lazy Susan, and basically have a thing going up with a curve over the top, and you can get a full body variant statue ready for him. hmm. And, fun fact, if you model it, if you do a 3D model, you can actually then get him to have his arms crossed, or get him to sit in a proper pose you won't end up with what you had for had happened to poor joy belouche in port augusta what i don't know anything him? about that sorry yeah no see they 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 it, it the statue itself is more of an artist rendition of basically back in the time when she was a prostitute uh, oh, oh. <laughs> there's a lot about port augusta when they're most decent mayor once was in the prostitution business I mean, it makes hey. sense whenever you go to Port Puri. <laughs> Port Augusta. Uh, Port, Augusta. Port Augusta, yeah, Port Augusta, sorry. Um, <laughs> that's, that makes too much sense. I mean, I wouldn't put it past Puri Cancellers either, but that's beside the point. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm willing to sell myself if we get our chip van back. Come on. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> like, I still can't believe... Like, I want to know where to find these... Things they're changing, so I can see how ridiculous it is. Well, they haven't put it on the website. And re- he got a phone call from one of the councillors saying, "Oh, you know, oh, people keep calling us with the wrong information." That's the information they handed him at the council, and he just put it up on the side of the thing, and people are ringing and talking what's on there. So, no, that's the correct information as given to him. Yeah, I, I think it's. Re- I think the reason they're saying, oh, it's the wrong information. is because they're going to change their mind real quick. Because they know they've done wrong by us. <laughs> it, it's ridiculous. It honestly is ridiculous. I mean, I'll be very surprised if the that barbecue steak fan, that, that'll be gone too soon enough. Oh, the Smokies. Yeah. I saw it driving through town today. Didn't look very happy. Um... No, because they're constantly at fucking war with the council at the moment. Well, no, that war had been uh, sorted out. They weren't allowed to work out of private property. They had to work from the locations the council could charge them $1,800 a year for. Which, as much as that sucks... By by the way, as of four weeks ago, it used to be $800 a year. Oh, love. All of a sudden. (laughs) Oh, oh, I just realised something. Mm -hmm. That kind of fucks over the... um... Smelter's picnic. Did anyone go to the meeting the other night? I don't think so. They said, if, you know, if volunteers don't show up at the meeting, we, we're not going to be able to have the thing, and it won't happen again in the future. Well, yeah, and let's be honest, it, it's at I, a point. It's extremely unfortunate that no one thought to say, oh, I don't know, have the Smelter's picnic back here this year? Well, this year is Crystal Brook's 150th year. It is. It would have been the uh, perfect year to bring it back. <laughs> even if it was just for that year. And look, if they'd come to us and said that, we would have been, there's tons of people in town who'd be like, we'll help. <laughs> yeah. But no, it has to be in Piri. It doesn't. It doesn't. It was originally here. It was I never in Piri. I, I, I know. It's just the way. I get the feeling that there's some salty saltine in Piri that's like, oh, I wanted here. 
No, it's it's more the fact that Nystad doesn't want to pay for buses. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, who doesn't want to pay for Want to pay to bus people out of a uh, period of here. Yeah, it, but then it again, is. You could actually talk to the guy. There's a guy in Adelaide who owns some trains, apparently. Yeah. And he's more than willing to bring them out for events. Mm. He'll take Look. people from Adelaide on the standard gauge railway to anywhere that there's an event that the train line will get them. <laughs> yeah, but how many <laughs> how many resources does he have to do that, though? Uh, he's not a poor man. He's quite rich. How rich? I'm rich guessing... to own trains and run them when he wants to. <laughs> so... Yeah, I was going to say, like, I'm guessing, like, not Elon Musk, but also something Elon Musk would actually sit there and go, eh, good job, at. Maybe. But anyway, that you can actually talk to, like, the Premier Stateliner. They're more than willing to do. Do shit like that. Yeah. Especially for something like that. Or Greyhound, even. You know, they'll come out for events and bust people around. Yeah, but then you got people who will just complain that, oh, it should be Imperia because we can't get out there. That's a even though they... That's your, that's, your own, that's your own problem. That even if they've got, like, um, hourly buses or something going out there. Hey, Tom, have a look at this. It's slowly coming together. Slowly getting there. But keep in mind, if I I'll be right do, there, sorry, oh, he's disappeared. Hey, Jack. Yeah. Come in, have a look. Give me a bit. I'm cleaning something. Oh yeah. By the way, you do know my real name, right? It's Leslie, isn't it? Yes. I was just double checking because it's very rare in this particular chat room that I actually stand by the only use my screen name. Yeah, yeah. But no, there we are. So, Look, it's all coming together. Give me a minute. Sorry about that, I'm back. Hey, Tom. Uh, Tom, yeah. Les, have a look. Slowly yeah, I was looking. There. I, you know, I saw before. Yes. I'm getting there. So essentially, these parts go... It's a very weird-shaped engine. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> I, I took two 900 Ford parts. I literally just copied this and spun it around, and I was like, oh, funny, funny engine. Yeah, yeah, I want to see that engine. Um, I do it like, in like a 3D printing program. Actually, if I um, end up making this, I might just do that for a bit of a meme and a laugh. So <laughs> is there a reason end. why you have two pictures that are it's to very help. much not connected to each it, other? It's to help get an idea of how big the actual bogies are. I'm not exactly interested in the body at the moment. It's just the bogey components. It would requ wouldn't that require you know maybe having a flat surface to work on? No, because uh, these what's... images were actually at an angle when they were taken. What's their designation? What are they? What? They're like are they like uh, CR nine hundreds or something? Uh, SAR nine hundred class locos. Are they SAR? Okay, yeah. uh, SAR. See, that that's another thing that. Is there a way to make it so that you don't have the fucking shadows like that? Yes, uh, there is. This, but now is you there can't... a reason? Oh my you... god! Now you can't someone tell. fun. Someone has made a nine hundred class for Gary's mod four years ago. What really? Yep. 
well, Jesus Christ, someone invite them to Derail Valley and tell them to actually release it before I do. No, I reckon you should do it. See? That's you should. You, that's what yeah, it's supposed you, to look like. Yeah, um, I'm not, I'm not a trained enthusiast, so for the most part, I have no fucking clue what's going on there. And it actually fits in between the brake lining. <gasps> oh, that's amazing. Oh, it's so amazing. It's solely coming together. Is, there, is it, it meant to be crooked like that? No. This, I'm going to straighten it out and buff it out. You're getting so far with Blender now, Owen. I know, I know. I'm, I'm actually I'll be commissioning, commissioning you a for a professional. Oh, yeah. I'll be commissioning you for a, a locomotive at some point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, at some point, I should start Blender, but I just don't know how to use it. See, once I get. Um, if I can get even better at what I'm currently doing with the scanning, they, this is just to cut down on 90% of any work that I'm going to want to do. Because of. More because, you know, there are joints and such. I basically want to have that so that, you know, I can interchange parts digitally before I go out of my way to either print and or buy new kits. Yeah. See, another aspect of this that I'm hoping will be cool, will be useful, is if this works well enough, this would technically allow for scanning into a digital space, a full-scale Gundam. Not like somebody has recently scanned a full-scale Gundam. Oh my god, anything. I want it. I want it so bad right now. What? Is what? It? Someone has made a, my own creation, SAR 900 class locomotive Lego set plans. Oh. Ooh. I'll download the picture and then share it with everyone. Do you remember that mm -hmm. Lego software that used to exist back in the day? Still have it, but yep. It, it still does still it. exist. It does still exist, I think, somewhere. Oh, I'm glad that it still exists, because that software is amazing. Hang on, let me actually... Speaking of which, I actually have train driving tomorrow. What's the time, guys? It's 8.30. 8.30. Ah, cool. I have to get out of here by at least nine o'clock because I'm setting my alarm. I wait. I have to wake up cool. at like seven thirty. Um, I what... should put it in the Lego channel because it would be funny. What was the um uploading image now? What was the uh program called again? Uh, there were quite a few, and there are still actually quite a few that are maintained by other people. And there's one that I have somewhere on my computer that you can actually export the 3D models, so I can print any Lego brick that I want. But anyway, um... <laughs> I gotta head off to myself. Get you guys around, alright? Alright, take it easy. Have a good one. Hey, yes. The old, the old one used to be Lego Bye. Digital Design. Right. Yes. That's hey, look, the old one. that's the one I was thinking of. But they have Leo CAD, which seems to be a more up-to-date version of. Why are you okay? Okay. The old software. Yeah, Leo Cad's the much more updated version. Okay, well, I didn't mind that. Lego Cad was you know amazing. I, I'll do it for this situation. Did, has anyone gone to see the thing in Lego? Uh, not quite not yet. Sure. I'm about to though. Uh, so that there. Actually, that is really cool. I know. <laughs> I want it. Yeah, okay, cool. Thank you for telling me about a scanner. I already have one of them. I mean, I've got the, what are they, 2000 class? Uh, oh, sorry, 3000 class rail cars. I have the 3D files for those. Ooh. I got them from a group I was in. <coughs> he gave them to us so we could send them off to Shapeways to have them printed or print them ourselves if we can. Ooh. And I've just found it on Shapeways in N-Scale. Cool. 
See, I, I, I'm definitely not that big of a Lego fan overall. Fair mm. enough. I used to be, but uh, kind of, it kind of went different direction now that I know, like now that I've gone a different direction in general with how what I like to do. Like, as a medium, oof, Lego's still one of the better mediums. Also, I'm going to go back a second, see if it gives me the same ad. I, I can't, there's an ad I saw I want to have a look at now. Popped up. Like, I don't want to see ads. Oh, actually, where's the dead go? <laughs> yeah, no, uh... it, the thing is, what it ended up being was something that looked really cool that I might actually be interested want. in for once. Yeah. I did try and do it. I couldn't get the file I needed to export it. Um, there is a way to pull uh, the 3D files out of trains with a Z. Um, I just don't remember how to do it. Maybe use .wav or .war or... Uh, it'll be a bit more complicated than that, I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah it will be. be on the, like, the safety sort this of... This one. What yes, the one hell is this actually, thing? Yeah. yeah, that would be... Um, let's have a look. What's up? Ah, oh, that's what it is. It's literally a motorcycle. I actually remember going to Greyhound mm. Riot to the model railway show and I remember them showing off the original like 2002 train simulator game and I still remember that and I still can't believe it was released in 2002 <laughs> but whenever I go back and play it I'm like Jesus couldn't they just update the graphics slightly <laughs> even though I know it's long gone in the back of my mind, I'm just like, dude, I wish the graphics were a lot nicer. How's the scan go? <laughs> I'm at 200. Okay. It, it, it usually is a lot lower than it currently is at 200. So I think it's doing the math correctly. Oh, so it's actually mathed out the angle yeah. too. That, that's cool. That is good. I just got to make sure... Basically, that's another one of those things I need to do. Uh, basically, at the end, oh. when it goes all the way up, I want to put a decent tensioned, sp like, push spring. Mm -hmm. Not a pull spring, because like, there is actually a very fundamental difference between the two. Yes, yes, there, there actually is. Um, Just to make sure that it doesn't... We try putting a pull spring on car suspension and see what happens. Uh... <laughs> They see me rolling. Yeah, they hate it. Watching and see me ride and grinding. <laughs> riding and grinding. Anyway, um, Sounds like basically, the on the end, I want to put like a small push spring so that because it goes ever so slightly off of the uh, track, basically. Um, let's see that. That's why I want to des basically keep 90% of this design, but I feel like if I can find a way of encapsulating, like, instead of having it go slide through, just have the bend kind of just, um, go over the top of it instead, I can get rid of some of the extra BS that's on this just for that. Oh, yep. This is the, the these comments are kind of things I'd need to have you in the same room as to actually make and you understand. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm all, I'm fully aware of that. By the way, <laughs> stand by reinstalling Train Simulator Twelve. Throttling up to maximum. So you got any of the six mods installed? Let's have a look. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, it's not that hard to get sex mods, especially now that 
um, they've made it even easier to imagine walking into your son's room and you go, what are you doing, son? And you, you just see him playing Skyrim with sex mods. Riding and grinding. <laughs> I like how you completely ignore that joke. That's the best kind of comedy, the one where it's just ignorance. No, it's not ignorance when you're actively just going anyway. No, that was a good joke, though. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to lie. That, that was actually a pretty good joke. Um, Anyway. Oh my god, have you seen the um, guy oh, that voiced um, Carl Weezer and the guy that voiced John... No, what was it? Not John Marston. It was... Um... I don't know these names. <laughs> What's his name? The guy from like Red Dead Redemption 2, Arthur Morgan, and Carl Weezer were like in a conversation with each other. Because the actors, like the both actors of the two characters, are friends with each other, and they were on a live stream where, where Arthur Morgan was asking for money from Carl Weezer. <laughs> I feel outdated. Who's Carl Weezer? Uh, Jimmy Neutron, a Jimmy Neutron character that likes croissants and is fat and overweight and relatively dumb. <clears throat> oh right. Oh He's... me. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. Unlike you, he got his ass pregnant once by an alien in the actual show. <laughs> Don't ask. Let's be honest, he's not as stupid as Shane. Oh, Shane is just a different level of dumb. <laughs> he is the ultra lord of dumb. He is the kid that took the Gundam to class. And was like, look how powerful and strong he, this character is, and everyone is just absolutely bored shitless. <laughs> so, but no, there, there's a scene that is amazing. Uh, basically, uh, at the beginning of the show, they're basically talking about Einstein's comment on... Uh, Idiocy, basically. Yeah. The whole... Uh, to uh, try something right. once... And basically, anyway. So, at some point, for some reason, as always happens, Jim Neutron makes a thing. The, this thing just happened to be, like, the best candy in the world. But it was having negative side effects on everybody. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, what he does is he turns them into, basically... T he ends up making... Ones that look similar in every, almost every way, except that they tase you. Oh, I remember that episode. That was and hilarious. And basically, at the and basically at the because everybody's getting tased when they're trying to eat these really good candies, they subconsciously train themselves not to do that anymore. Yeah, I remember. Except that for episode. except for Shane, who legitimately ends up going. It keeps hurting me, but I'm going to have it taste so good when it gets in here. And he just keeps eating them, even the tased ones. Like, basically doing the same thing and expecting a different result. I know. He is 100%. The, he, is the, he is the Darwin principle in action. <clears throat> yeah. He 100... For that? Hmm? System two one. No. Nope. Central. Oh, no file for it. Someone's got a three D printed um, Brill Rail car. Oh. Mm, but they don't it's, have the file um, for it. Um, oh man, that looks beautiful. I'm gonna need to. You know, I just need to get the like the design files for the Brill, and I could probably do that myself. It's not that hard. See, slowly coming making, together. Making the body of a train relatively easy. Making all the brake gear and the axle box. Yeah, basically uh, everything else is where the issues start to come in. Yeah, I've <laughs> done most of that already. That took me at least a solid week. 
I could buy a red hen from a uh, shape. So there is one good thing. I have virtually almost all the same mods as I did on Vortex, except it doesn't instantly corrupt my game. Yeah, see? Configured better. Mm. So, yay! Hooray. Hooray. It, I even... It, it, like, the other good thing is this actually sees all the... Uh, like, if I go onto Bethesda.net and whatnot, it actually sees the uh, Bethesda stuff, the Bethesda.net stuff, and actually puts it in properly, too. Well, that's good. How so is it... this game? What game? Ark Survival of the Fittest. Oh, I've seen that's, that. That's, isn't that just Ark, but, like, upgraded Ark? Yeah. Well, I don't know, because I've got Ark Survival of Old, and for some reason I've got this Survival of the Fittest as well. What is it? It won't tell me. Um, store page? Here you go. Oh, it's their massively multiplayer online version. Oh, yeah. Multiplayer online survival arena. Yeah, and definitely not interested in that. I'm, cu I'm, I'm mostly just curious about it now. How many arcs are there? Good lord. Like, yes. <laughs> okay, so... We got Survival Evolved. That's the original. Mm hmm. Well, you got the Season Party Expansion Pass, Ultimate Survivor Edition, which is just one of their really many. Is. And then another pass, uh, their soundtrack, the, another soundtrack, Expansion, 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 like maps, um, more soundtracks, and then Arc 2. It's the kind of stuff that just makes you want to go Electric oh. Boogaloo? It's basically, yeah, pretty much. Let's just. I'm put sorry, it... but when anyone says Arc Two, I get this in my head. Oh no, you're not thinking of what I'm thinking, are you? He probably is. Oh no. Episode oh, one: no. The Flies. I'm going to add that to my wish list just because. You guys can watch this on your own. Um. Uh, yeah, I've probably already seen it. Uh, did you put it in videos? Uh, yes, it will be there now. Uh, two episodes. Oh, what the hell? It's from 1976. Is that Pogo? Hey, is that Pogo? Pogo? The, the monkey, Pogo. Oh, I don't know. Um, I've been watching Umbrella Academy because I actually enjoyed the si first couple of seasons, so I'm watching oh, it. Oh no, I know what that is. Oh <laughs> shit. Arc 2. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. That's hilarious. It's definitely one of those shows that could only have existed in the 70s no, and the uh, 80s. When space exploration was just sci-fi. It's like, I'm at just, can you 285. Imagine? It is usually a lot, hell of a lot lower than it is right now. Cool. Question so is, I think it knows what we're asking it to do. <laughs> yeah, it would just be great if we had the slider. Yeah. So there's probably somewhere on that page, that website, PY, whatever, uh, Python script, whatever is causing the website, that has the limit in it that we could change. Yeah. But uh, it's easier to do what we've done. <laughs> Especially if I go, please, sir, can I have the ability to use 9,000 pictures? No. No. Because actually, I don't think he actually runs the cloud stuff. I think he's offloading that to a server elsewhere for something else to run. Uh, oh, no, I noticed he... there is a university that does... That has a webhook for um, 3D scanning. But he does say that if you ask him politely, he will up the n number. Oh, so he's probably got the ability to send you a... He's probably just got uh, an image that... Of an SD card image that has this 
triggered up to the settings already. Yeah. yeah. Um, but basically, one or two things. He has access to a server. Yep. I need to come and get a zip file of, like, a scan from you. Just want to try something. <laughs> what scan would you like... Would you like, like? It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter what it is. I just want to try something. See if I can come up with a way to generate a 3D file. Like local. They, so do you want the, the images? I like just want the base images, yeah. Oh, Vin Diesel's in uh, Arc 2, is he? Yes. Probably some random-ass voice. Yeah, probably just says, I am Groot. <laughs> okay, that would be as much as like that would be kind of stupid. Funny. That would be it would funny. also be, yeah. Oh my god, Arc Two! I love it. All right. Okay. I mean, I just want the Arc Two vehicle itself. That'd be so fun to drive around. <laughs> Is using sound effects from the original series Star Trek, which was out before this. Now, I'm going to send you a link to my drive. Because so right. I'm literally just going to... Because this is just the easiest way to just quickly do it, if I'm right in thinking that. Oh, yeah. Um, now, how do I share this to you? Sure. Like, I probably technically shared this with you in the past, but that should be all the images of the 300 scan. Because, don't get me wrong, as much as, you know, I... Um, don't mind like sending it off somewhere. I do kind of would prefer to keep it on my end. Okay. I would prefer to keep it on my end. What do you mean? All the pictures and that. I'm for now. I'm fine with using a cloud service. Oh right, I get what you mean. Yeah. Um, but eventually, I do want to have my own use my own um system for it. Right, here's something I didn't think I'd do in the next two days, loading up Blender. <laughs> it's just a command file. Where's Blender? Bring me Blender. There it is. Just got to be careful oh. you don't click it too many times. It'll open up one too many versions of it. And requesting access. What if you get the message I typed on that? Now I want to watch Arc 2 again. <laughs> I think there is only one episode of this. All right, I, I'm watching Carl Weezer be intimidated by Arthur Morgan. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> Is it funny? <laughs> Mr. Marston, I'd...
<laughs> oh god. <laughs> like the funniest part about that in a, in its own way mm. is the fact that, you know, to Arthur Morgan a nickel would be a fuck ton of money. Oh yeah, it would be. <laughs> but to Carl Weezer, he probably saw like five nickels walking down to fucking school. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. He obviously stole money from Herr Strauss, and that's why Arthur's bothering him. Yeah, obviously one of those nickels he's picked up is for him. <laughs> no, he's picked up a penny f off the ground that belonged to him. And it's just taken this long, and this is the... <laughs> this is the, this is the um, interest... <laughs> Did you uh, get the request? Um, request where? Yeah, it probably sent to your email. I had to request access to the file. <laughs> oh, so one of them actually re responded, but anyway, um. No, I don't think I have gotten a request. Okay. Would you like to see the response I got from the creator, basically? Sure. Of oh, or someone's so someone's response to me on is there a way to get over three hundred pitches in a single run? Speed run. Go on. They sent me this picture. That's good. <laughs> Oh, they're using a node editor. Mm. Okay. Now just... I understand what the node red was talking about. So we might have a way to fix the uh, um the, the that with the. Have you had a reply from the the actual guy who owns the thing? <laughs> Please don't actually do this. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, where is the actual? Where can I find the actual guy? Um. Uh. Yes. Install that, please. Just nope. install it in Documents. Sure. Um, actually. Yep. This is that guy. So no, I haven't yet. <laughs> but yeah. They've changed this, but so th there's a way to do it that's better than the way I've done it. Because I, and look in the range section. So once this particular variant has done, I will change the uh, number. I will have a look at how to do this. Open, open scan editor, node red. Open scan editor. So, okay, you've probably got that somewhere somehow. It's it is probably. I'd be hesitant to fuck with it while it's doing it. Yeah, but... yeah. Like I have no qualms with going over into looking at different sections like if it, it might be in here nope, nope. that's the only CPU place temperature would've... 56 degrees that's that's nice is that actually a good thing yeah if, if it was up near 80 the thing would throttle to all hell um, um 
Well, then, what I'm probably wanting is somewhere in here, I guess. Like, at least somebody uh, actually kind of understands what I'm trying to do. Yeah. I'm just trying to see if it will work. So, hi, here's your answer. So, I need to get Node Red or something. Give me a sec. Uh, open scan menu using external editor. Here we go. See, I only only because you're like, oh, I had to. So I went and had a look. Yep. Not, and it's just it. It might will be in your drive then, maybe. Yeah, I I don't see it anywhere. I have got no notifications, no nothing. Um. Anyway, I'm now wanting to figure out how this works, because if I can change the range, I happily will do so. Because I'd prefer to do that than all the other fuckery I have to do. As much as... Someone else is looking. My um, it's not the not the right guy. Still, and... I don't think it is not. I'm looking for this picture. Yeah, I, well, you know, I not very likely. Further increasing the number of which doesn't ex doesn't affect the results so much. Did you see the? Did you cut out or did you just stop doing it? I'm just sitting here going, did you see the guidelines? It's basically going, hey, you know, the main guys said this. It's like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I get that. I mean, they, you could quite clearly say now that you're actually using external software to do your thing. Mm. You know, you just you just need a bigger image set. I just want a bigger image set for what I'm doing. Yeah. The thing is, I'm going to first check and compare the two, because like, because photo telemetry. Okay, let's let's actually have a quick read on what it says about photo telemetry. A a set perfect set object. Perfect object surface looks something like this. Looks like oh, sandpaper. Okay. Thousands of distinct and rare slash random features. No spectacular highlights, no blurry interest, high contrast. That's cool. Uh, it is about a guide. It is all about the object surface and the, and some basic camera and lighting settings. But fortunately, there are some little, almost any kind. The flow, following flow chart, gives an overview. So, basically, is the object reflective or glossy? If no, you go to the next one. If yes, you use a cross-polarized setup. Like I've got, or should have. Might need mm. to fix that. Prime the object with a matte base color. I've done that in the past. It's yeah. Is the object unicolor or does contain large unicolor areas? Yes. Add features, thousands of tiny dots, scanning spray. Actually, I'm go I I'm going. I kind of want to see that. Um, 
Oh, we'll have to come back here. If no, basically go to the next one. Do you see hard shadows on the object's surface? No, or yes. Yes, use a diffuse light ring light or a ring light. Again, I, I, that one's not, I just go, I just went straight for that because that's always going to be an issue, especially with something like what I've got. Are there many spectacular highlights? User, spectacular, Wait, yep. So again, oh no, camera. Can you lower the distance between the camera and object? Yes or no? No, because your camera's fixed. <laughs> Can't, pretty much in that case. Is it not? Is it not necessary? It is not necessary to see the whole object on every photo. True, but I prefer it personally. Are there areas out of focus? Out of, uh, are there blurry out of focus areas? Yes or no? Well, I basically have. Are there over or underexposed areas? Adjust the brightness. Yep. Happy scanning. Some very common misconceptions. Phototelemetry is not 3D scanning and cannot produce accurate meshes. All right, boys, oh, I'm going to head off to bed. Night, night. All right, have a good one, man.